Hello everyone, how lovely to see you. Thanks for stopping by. I'm Sarah and this is my friend Sid and we're playing a matching game. I wonder if you would help us. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Yes, that would be nice. We've got some people and we've got some cars and a helicopter and things and we're trying to work out which is the right sort of car or thing to travel in for each different person? Which would they drive in? Oh, it's getting a little bit tricky. Sid, are you ready? Yes? I'll just tell everyone what we've got. We've got a digger here and a donkey. E -R, and a police car and a fire engine. A golden shiny car and a helicopter that flies oh yes it does sound good that one doesn't it yes right ready Sid let's see first person this person what do they look like Sid they've got boots and tools and yes I think you're right I think it's a builder look at him all oh, ready for hard work which vehicle is good for the builder to go in should the builder go in the helicopter? What do you think? No. Oh, okay. Which vehicle are you going to put him in, Sid? You're going to put him in there? Oh, yes. The builder goes in the digger. Yes. What's that? Yes, we do like watching diggers, don't we? We find them very, very exciting. Oh, my goodness me. Lovely. We've done one matching. Well done. This person, what they got? They've got welly boots and yellow waterproof trousers and a hard hat. I wonder who that is, can you guess? It's a, yes, it's a fireman. Now then Sid, which, which vehicle, which thing is a fireman going in? Does a fireman travel in a police car? No. Does a fireman travel on a donkey? No, it would take too long to get to the fire. Does a fireman go in a fire engine? Yes! Good matching! Let's do the next one. This person, Sid, has got a helmet and some shiny cool goggles. Oh yeah, well done, Sid, pointing to them for you. And a zip-up suit that keeps you nice and warm when you're in cold air. What do you think they are? They're a, yes, they're a pilot, a helicopter pilot. So where are we going to put them? Said, oops, do they go in the police car? No. Do they go, oh, do they go in the gold shiny car? No, because that doesn't go in the air, does it? Do they go on the donkey? No. What do they go in? Sid, you do it, because I'm being silly. Oh, clever Sid. They go in the helicopter and the helicopter goes chugga, 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 up in the sky oh yes that would be exciting wouldn't it oh a little bit worrying but very exciting now who's this i think this is a lady and she's got a hat on and she's wearing blue and she's got black shoes and she looks very smart oh like someone you'd need to listen to who might help keep you safe who's that that's a Yes, it's a police lady. Oh, oh, do you think she'd like to go in the in the gold shiny car? What do you think, Sid? No, I think yes, I think she might like to go, but it, it's not the speediest looking car, is it? I wonder what she go. Is she gonna go on a donkey? No, a bit slow. Oh, and it's a police car, yes. Oh, good job, Sid. I hope you're doing as well as Sid is on the matching. Oh, how many have we got left? We've got one left, haven't we? And this person, oh, oh Sid, can you get them? Why? Why do you want to get them? <coughs> Sid says they're wearing all gold and shiny things. And what have they got? They've got a, they've got a crown on their head, haven't they? So Sid thinks it's a... Yes, a king or a queen. And he feels a little bit nervous because a king or a queen is so important and so special. But Sid, I think you're all right because this is a toy. 
So let me help you pick it up. Here we go. Now, would the king or the queen like to go in the digger? Well, they might do, but that's not what you travel in if you're a king or a queen, is it? What have we got left, Sid? Shall we move them out of the way? We've got... Well, there's someone in the digger. There's someone in the police car. Oh, we've got the donkey. And we've got the golden car. Let me move the helicopter. Oh, which one do you think a king or a queen would go in? Will they go in a donkey? Or will they go in a golden car? What do you think? Sid, you're taking a long time to decide. Why are you taking so long? Because I think the king or the queen should go in the golden car. But Sid, you're... What? What are you trying to... You're putting them by the donkey? Would you put a king on a donkey? That's not very special, is it? Yeah, okay. Oh, do, he wants to tell us something. Ready? Here we go. Oh, Sid! Good remembering. Sid says, yes, normally a king or a queen would go in the golden car. But we were reading today a true story about Jesus from the Bible. And Jesus went on a donkey. Yes. Shall we tell you the true story? Let's move these diggers and things out the way. Oh, yes. We'll put the donkey over there. One day, Jesus and two of his friends here are the friends and here's jesus sid can you hold on to him for me thank you here's jesus they were getting near to a big city called jerusalem very special city for god's people and jesus said to his friends please can you go to the next town and find a donkey for me and he told them how to find the donkey and they thought, well, that's a bit funny, but off they went. And they found the donkey, just like Jesus told them they would. And he, they brought it back to Jesus. I wonder what they thought was going to happen next. Because what they did was they took their coats. There's his coat, I've taken it off. And they put his coats on the donkey and then what did Jesus do Sid oh you're right well done Jesus sat on the donkey so he's got their coats on to keep it all nice and clean for him and he's sitting on the donkey and they started to ride into the city of Jerusalem but the people saw Jesus coming Lots and lots of people saw Jesus coming and they did something very special. They took off their coats and they put them on the road. Oh, Sid, I forgot to make coats for everybody else. What's that? Oh, yes, you're wearing your poncho. Can we take that off? Right, we're going to take Sid's poncho off because it was a little bit cold this morning. We're going to take the poncho off and put it down on the road. The people put their coats on the road. And then the people did something else. Can you remember what they did? Yes, they did. They got leaves from the trees and they put those on the road as well. And then Jesus rode on the road that they covered up with their coats and their branches. What a funny thing. And while he did that, the people, what were they doing? Said they were, oh, yeah. They were, they were so excited. The people were all shouting, Hosanna, save us God, you're the king, praise God. Oh wow, here comes the king, here comes the king that God sent to save us. Oh, they were so excited. And there's Jesus riding on a donkey into the city of Jerusalem with everyone saying, oh, God is wonderful. God sent a king to save us. Oh, Sid, wow. Did Jesus say, oh no, stop, stop, stop. Oh no, you got it wrong. No, he didn't, did he, Sid? 
Jesus, he was glad they were doing a good thing and a right thing. Because do you remember what does Mark chapter 1 verse 1 tell us? It tells us that Jesus is the forever king, the son of God. So when Jesus came to their big city, they were right to say, yay, God is wonderful. Praise God. Here is the king God sent to save us. Oh, and that was, we, we enjoyed reading that, didn't we, Sid? That was good news. And that made Sid and me have a little bit of a think about how it is good and it is right to love King Jesus and to praise him, to say how wonderful he is because he is the forever king, the son of God. And he's come to save us, to rescue us. Oh, yes. Shall we say thank you to God for King Jesus? Yeah. Are you ready? One, two, three, four. Father God, thank you that Jesus is the forever king. Thank you that he's the king you sent to save us. Thank you that he is so wonderful. Please help us to love him and praise him every day. Amen. We want to sing a song, don't we, Sid? Yes, we do. We want to sing a song that says, praise him, praise him, which is tell everyone how great God is. All you little children, because God is love and he sent King Jesus to save us. Are you ready? I'll sing it. Let's see if you can join in. Praise him, praise him, all you little children. God is love, God is love. Praise him, praise him, all you little children. God is love. God is love. Thank him, thank him, all you little children. God is love. God is love. Thank him, thank him, all you little children. God is love. God is love. Serve him, serve him, all you little children. God is love, God is love. Serve him, serve him, all you little children. God is love, God is love. Praise him, praise him, all you little children. God is love, God is love. Praise him, praise him. All you little children, God is love, God is love. Oh, God is so wonderful, isn't he, Sid? Yes, he is. Oh, that's a wonderful story to act out at home. But remember, King Jesus, the King God sent to save us. Maybe you could stop and say thank you to God. And sing a song about how wonderful Jesus is. That would be good to do, wouldn't it? Maybe, should we do that now? Yeah, we're going to do that now. I wonder what you're going to do with the rest of today. Thanks for joining us. It's been lovely to see you. We'll see you again soon. Bye.